Hey everybody, hope you're just as excited as I am to help you along with your multi-sim on your birthday circuit. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to bring in all the parts, uh, connect the dots, and then test it at the end. So the first thing we're going to do is just set up the sheet. So right click anywhere on the sheet, go down to properties, make sure that this package pin names is checked. And also let's change the workspace to sheet size. C. That's uh, 22 by 17. That should be enough space to fit everything. Hit apply and OK. All right, let's start bringing in the parts. So sometimes the parts are pretty hard to find. So I'm going to click over here and bring in some power sources. First thing I'm going to need is put the ground right there. I'm going to need two VCCs for my power. I'll put one there. I'm going to put one over here for my common anode. Next thing I'll bring in are some switches. So that can be found under basic and switches. And if you can't find it, just type in right here, SPDT, single pull, double throw. Hit that here, I'm gonna put one here. That's gonna be my switch one. That's gonna be my switch two. And that's gonna be my switch three. So I'm working right to left, just like we count in binary. Next thing I'm going to need is my indicators so if I bring this down there it is indicators um, I'm gonna hit hex display and I'm gonna scroll like what was this halfway down or so three quarters of the way down and find seven segment decimal common a common anode so you can pick red blue green orange yellow I'm gonna go with blue since it's school colors Hit OK, put that over here. And one of the last things I'll need before I start bringing in wires and gates is a um, all my resistors. Now you can bring in, you can hit basics and you can go to resistors or you can hit R pack. And that is, as you can see, a whole bunch of different resistors lined up or actually they're the same resistors lined up. So I'm gonna hit seven inline isolated, hit OK, click that and then close. I will point out that I think it defaults all the time to a thousand ohms so if you just double click that and hit type in 220 and OK. I'm going to right click on this and flip it counterclockwise. I'm going to right click on switch 2, do the same thing, right click on switch 3, flip it and then I'm going to play a little connect the dots where that's connected to my ground. Now, I'm a visual person, so I'm gonna double, double click on that wire, change the net color to black, hit apply, and okay. And then on the left side of all of my switches, that's gonna be my ground. On the right side of all my switches, that's gonna go to my power. Now I'm gonna bring in my inverters for over here. So, Let's uh, hit TTL like I just did, and mine just popped up. So we're looking for inverters. So up here we'll type in 74LS04, and we'll click on the N. Um, hit OK. We're going to you know always use the same one. So we're going to start with new and hit A, and then B, and then C, and then cancel. And close that. All right, right click on that and flip it clockwise. All right, I'm gonna start over here with switch three and I'm gonna click on that and bring it like all the way down to the bottom, like double click it down here. And that will be my X. I'll connect this and bring this all the way down. And this will be my not X. And one thing to kind of help you again, if you're a visual learner, Double click on this and make this like black. All right. So I got my X, my not X done. So let's go Y, go all the way down the bottom. Double click that. All right, move this down a little bit. So that'll help you if you're visual. Some people like to just go red and then black for positive and uh, on and off, which is fine too. So now I'm going to connect the. Uh, resistors to the seven segment display over here. Zoom in because it's helpful.
All right, to this part, like all of our designs look the same. So this is where I'm going to count up all my ands and my ors and bring them in. I'm going to start with all my ands, and I need 11 of them. Time to bring those in. Click on TTL. Type in 08 and then N. Hit OK. I'm going to need 11, so I'm just going to go 1. Now I'm going to bring in my OR gates. Those are 74 LS32, and I'm going to click on the end there. I'm going to need five of those. All right, I really encourage you to do one segment at a time, test it, and then move on to the next segment. So I'm going to do segment A. My segment A is A not X or not X, Y not Z. All right, by the way, I forgot to kind of mention, this is a good time to uh, put your name right up here. So hit place, text, and also your birthday. Um, you can change the font size, make it a little bit bigger so you can see it or so your teacher can see it. And now I want to test my A gate. So according to my truth table here, I'm going to press play. So before I test it, I haven't done this yet, I'm going to want to make sure that I change these keys to some shortcuts. So I'm going to double click on this and key for toggle, I'm going to make this one. Hit OK. I'm going to double click on this and make this two. And I'm going to double click on this and make this four. So I'm going to press play here and test it. So at zero, 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 all switches are off. I should have it on. You can check my birthday right here. And then at zero, zero, one, it should also be on. And then it should be off. And then it should be on. And then at one zero zero, it should be off. One zero one. One one zero, it should be back on. And then finally, one one one, it should be on. So my truth table worked. One thing I want to show you is I have my D and my E are the same as my A. So I'm going to zoom in here and my D is going to be the same as my A, so I'm going to connect it here, and actually so is my E. So A, D, and E are all the same for me. The next thing I want to do is connect my B. Looks good. Time to connect C. Now I'm going to connect F, and finally I'm going to connect G. Time to test it according to my truth table, so I hit the play button, and it should display my birthday. Everything's off. My first number is 0, 2, then I switch on, I go through the truth table, there's a dash, there's a two, uh-oh. So this is a good problem to have. So right now when I use the four, I'm sorry, when I use switch three, something's off with my segment B. So I'm going to go over here to segment B, and I'm going to just double check that I wrote that in correctly. So I had to change this right down here because I had that uh, incorrect. So now let's just check it. Whoop. All right, it works. Save your work, save your Google Drive, show your teacher. Good job.